again. Welcome back to another video guys. So I have had this box for about not gonna lie, three weeks, I think, three weeks or something. So this is um from Colourful July and this is their May box. Some of you know, some of you don't know. I've had so much going on this last three weeks. I'm just getting nothing done. I'm getting nothing done, but I'm trying. <laughs> and as it's the first of May today, I thought I need to get this done. Um, I got home late last night, so I'm back at my desk. I'm going to get as much done as I can because I've got to go away again in four days. Um, so yeah, let's get this unboxed and see what's in it. So yeah, this is Colourful July's May box, mystery box. I love mystery boxes because I never know what to get to treat myself anymore. And mystery boxes, they do it for you, don't they? So, and they're always gift wrapped, hand wrapped. Love it. So, let's get this open and see what's in it. There we go. Gosh, this is a big box this month. It's normally a little square thing. And guys, I'm wearing gloves because I fell out with my hands today. I'm really not happy with them. I woke up today and I just don't like how my hands look. So we've had words, but I thought I'm wearing gloves. Oh, look at a cute little sticker. Right, let's go. Let me move this light. I'm going to get a move on because these videos always end up so long. There's that much in these boxes. Oh, look, I remember getting one of these last month. It was a brown one last month. These are really cool to keep. You know, to just put little birthday cards and stuff in. They're really nice to keep. Yeah, it was a gold one last month. This month it's silver. And, like, look at this paper. It's even sparkly. So that's all their... All their stuff. Social media stuff. Like it. Right, so, I'm going to get this moved off to the side. And then we'll just start pulling things out. Oh, my gosh, guys, look. Look at all this. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, right, we need to get a move on. We do need to get a move on. But I'm just gonna pull things out from the top. So what's this? Best mum, we love you mum. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, I see, I've got this so late. But they'll do for next year. They'll do for next year. Cute. What's this? Oh, it's one of them scarves. I'm not going to open It's like a silk scarf. They always put a little accessory in these little mystery boxes don't they yeah it's like a silk scarf i'm not going to open it like a or you could use it as a bandana that's cute isn't it anything that's swatchable i will probably swatch off camera and just show you at the end right we've got a couple of little cute nail files oh we've got a torch oh it's a it's one of them torches it comes with a jelly stamper you know, if you want to put sequins on your nail, but you can't hold them down flat, they stick out. This has got a little jelly stamper, and this little jelly stamper goes on the tip of the lamp, so you can squish the sequins on your nail and cure it at the same time. I have got a couple of these. Yeah, they come in really handy, they do. Yeah, I like that I've got a spare stamper head as well. Brilliant. Right, we've got some pigments. All different colours of green, shimmery pigments. These are brilliant for ombres. And they've provided loads of eyeshadow applicators. That's good. Yeah, these pigments, you can mix these into any colour gel you like. Yeah, you can use them for ombres. Cute. I like them. I like that they're all compact and together like that. Nice. We've got a silicone tool. And what that's provided for. Yeah, we've got a silicone tool. Oh, look at these. These look nice. So these are chrome powders, like Aurora powders. They look nice, don't they? They do look nice. I will give all this stuff a little swatch, guys. Probably off camera. If I've, if I've got time to do it in the video, I will. I might just come back at the end and show you what all this stuff looks like because these are stunning. They really are. Let's just get through what's actually in the box. Right, so these are little 
Oh, right, these are all little tiny rhinestones. Yeah. Can you see? Let me bring you in a bit. These are all tiny little rhinestones. Like rectangles, small rectangles, even small. All right, so they are rectangles and squares. We've got the big, the medium, and the small. These are cute. You could do like mosaic tails with these and all sorts, couldn't you? These little tiny square ones. They're glass as well, guys, I think. Are they? Yeah, they are glass. Yeah, you could do like mirrored, mirrored mosaic tiles with them. Right, what's in this? I love all this little packaging. Let's have a nosy. It's like, like Christmas or a birthday every month, isn't it? These mystery boxes. I love them. Look at this. What? Oh, she's gift wrapped very well. What's all this? What is this? There's something else in there. Right, so we've got a little bit of string, some little beads. Is this to make a little bracelet or something? It is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, and these are like Aurora roses and beads. I think it's to make a little bracelet or something, isn't it? I mean, that's cute. My little nieces would love that. Different, isn't it? Something different. Right, we've got a cuticle oil, lavender oil. So this is just one of them. You twist it, I'm not going to twist it, and it pushes the gel up, but it's already got a brush. You can get it right into all your little nail crevices. Cool. Right, we've got some glitters. Right, oh. I like this. Look at these little purple strands. Silver leaf. Iridescent hearts. Pink caviar beads. And then little iridescent stars. And then this looks like little shell pieces. Yeah, like really finely chopped up pieces of shell. They're cute. I like the colour theme. And then we've got this one. So this one is exactly the same, I think. It's got the stars that are the same. It's got little tiny silver strands, gold and silver leaf. What's this black one? This black one is small hexagons, me medium hexagons, black hexagons, small silver hexagons. So we've got quite a few pots of stuff. Get all sorts to play with in these little boxes, don't you guys? Oh my gosh. Oh wow, look at these. Look at the colours. They're pointy back rhinestones. I'm not going to open them. Look at some of these colours. They're all like two-toned. These would be great for making gem clusters, wouldn't they? Oh, wow, they're huge. Look at this one. Look at the colours. I like that. They're beautiful. Yeah, they'd be nice for doing gem clusters. They're beautiful. Oh, guys, look. I saw this clip and I thought, they're normally for polygels. There's two polygels in here. <laughs> There's two polygels in here. Wow. So let's have a look quickly at the colours. Oh, so this looks like a pink. Very creamy, opaque pink. Oh, it's like a pinky, pinky peach. I like that. And then let's have a look at this one. Oh, this is clear, I think. So they've provided a pink and a clear. Fair enough. You do need a clear to encapsulate stuff. It looks quite clear. I do like that pink. So I'm just going to stick them in a lamp. So we're going to have to do a set of nails, aren't we, using the poly gel and some of this stuff, definitely. Right, let's get through it. We have got some rhinestone glue. I like this because it's got the little pinpoint thing so you can really get into them little bit, bit, bit for your caviar beads and stuff. This cue is in the lamp as well. Brilliant. You're going to need all this for all these rhinestones and stuff, aren't you? <laughs> oh, see, we've got dual forms as well. Uh, I don't like these ones. 
Yeah, these are the curved ones. A lot of people prefer these, um, but I don't. So, yeah, can you see they're quite curved? If you're doing short nails, I'd say to about this line. It doesn't really affect it. They're not that curved. But anything longer, yeah, they do get a bit curvy. Yeah, I'm not as keen on them, but I like that. So that's cool that they've included dual forms anyway. Right, we have got some foils. Right, let's get through these quickly. See what we got. Oh, this is like um, spaceships and rock, rocket, rockets and... Yeah, look at all this, little spaceships and planets. I've never seen this before. Oh, look at little spaceman stars, aliens. Yeah, I've never seen these before. I like this. I've never seen these foils before. I like that. Then we've got this one. Oh, wow, look at these. Never seen these before. These are all like cogs and gears and clocks and retro bike shop. All right. This is different. Yeah, I've never seen anything like the, these. And then this one is all um, uh, roses. I like these. Cool. Again, I've not seen them before. Oh, I like this one. This is jam-packed full of butterflies. So you could cut some of these out single. Look at these teeny ones. But you could just fill the whole nail. I like this big one. Where's that big one? There. I like this big one. All sorts of butterflies on there. Teeny ones, big ones. Again, I haven't seen this this set of foils before. Uh, this is cute. Look, all little pandas. They're cute. <laughs> Another nice one. Oh, I like these with the little flyaway wispy bits. Yeah, I like these. These are nice. These are all so different. And we've got these ones. These are a bit more um, geometric kind of shapes, aren't they? Cool. I like it. Oh, I have seen these ones before. Oh, no. No, I haven't. I thought these were just typical flame ones, but they're not. They're slightly different. We've got dragons and stuff on this one. And then flames. Lots of flames and stuffs. Lots of little flames along the bottom. They're cool. What are these? Dope. Um, oh, I can't read some of these. Mm, yeah, I'm not so sure I'd ever use them. Bit weird. Good vibes, I'll maybe use that. Anyway. And lastly, oh, I think this is going to be my favourite. I like this one. It's got all oh, sorts. I like these love arts. The checkered, yeah, stores. Yeah, I like this one. I think this is my favourite one. I like that one. That one's cool, isn't it? Guys, look what they've provided. I love this. And these are the ones that I use. So they're going to slot in perfectly. So these are your little, little gem pots. You can store all your gems separately. Perfect. Because these are the ones that I normally buy. So that's brilliant. I like that they've included that. So I can put all these away in there and all my other little gems I've collected along the way from Colourful July. Oh, that's cool. So much stuff in this box, guys. It is crazy. Right, everything else now is gels. We've got two, three, four gels. And we've got a couple more liner gels by the looks of it. Is that everything out of that box? So I'm just going to grab a couple of swatch sticks guys and I think I'm just going to swatch these gels and the chrome powders right so I'm going to start with this one number 28 oh this is a nice colour a nice colour isn't it these apply like a dream I remember these from the last couple of boxes these little pots from Colourful July apply beautifully when there's no flecks of dust in them. <laughs> yeah, they apply beautiful, don't they? I don't know what's up with my camera this last couple of videos. I'm just going to give them all one coat, guys. Number 51. 
Right, so this is more like a brown. They are just nice to apply, aren't they? Right, then we've got 52. Oh, this looks like my kind of colour. Nice nude. Yeah, that's a nice colour. I like that. It's hard to see the colour because of... I don't know what's up with my lighting, guys. I do apologise. Yeah, you can see it better like that, can't you? Nice creamy nude. And then we have got 55. Oh, this is a nice colour. Nice turquoise aqua... Mm -mm. Turquoise blue, turquoise green. beautiful right that's the solid colors there i really like them i really like that green i love that nude they apply beautifully they're really nice to use i just never like having to keep cleaning my brush off but um yeah no they are nice one coat super opaque i like them right and i've also got quickly a couple of liner gels let's see what colors these are these are huge bottles what size are they 10 mil Glass bottles. This is number two. Oh, it's a good one. Liner gels. If you're going to do a silver liner, liner gel, it needs to be jam-packed like that. So shall we just swipe this down one of these? I have already got a swatch stick with the yellow and the red liner gel, so I'm just going to stick to that. So let's go in with the silver. This is a good silver, it's like silver chrome. Wow, look at that. Jam-packed silver. I like that. Right, what colour is this? Number eight. Oh, it's a blue. Okay. This looks like a good one as well. Oh, this is a bit stringy. Yeah, they're just nice. Nice opaque liner gels, aren't they? I do like that silver. Right, guys, these Aurora chrome powders. You have to apply these over a no-wipe top coat. I'm going to try them. I've done some swatch sticks, half black, half clear. And I'm just going to try them over that. So I'm going to use a no-wipe top coat on all of these swatch sticks. And I'm just going to fly through them, guys, and I'll show you at the end. So, yeah, use a no-wipe top coat, and I always undercure it. Instead of curing it for 30, I'll cure it for 20. And then I always like to rub the chrome powder in while it's fresh and still a little bit warm out of the lamp. Try not to get any flecks of dust either because they will show up. So I'm just going to seal all these in again with a top coat. If these was on your natural nails, you'd need to seal them in again with a top coat. So that's them all swatched. You get a totally different effect. You could put these over any colour as well. Yeah, so look at all the different colours. So that's what they look like over black. Really strong chromes, aren't they? Over black. I love these blues. I love that purple. And then over the clear... Can you see? You just get a little hint of it, don't you? I didn't put them over a white because they don't generally show up very well over a white. Um, but I love stuff like that. They just transform a nail, don't they? They completely transform a nail. So we got 
then oh gosh guys i'm just going to give you a quick quick recap because this video is so long oh yeah the liner gel as well that silver was a good one i do like that silver that's going to be fantastic for outlining things because it's jam-packed so that's all the jelly stuff gel stuff we got we got the scarf the files we got the pigments <laughs> all them files i've never seen these files before i was really happy with them we got the little gosh oh this box i think this is the biggest box i've had yet of this brand we got that little stuff to make beads we got all them little all them little square rhinestone things these oh my gosh they're so pretty we got dual foam oh we got the bling tray i'm over the moon with that we got the bling tray rhinestone glue we got the little torch to put your sequins on absolutely fantastic box of goodies isn't it guys yeah and it's like a birthday present every month turn up to your house i love it oh and don't forget we got them mother's day stickers I mean, they don't have to be Mother's Day stickers. This one just says, I love you, Mom. Thank you, Mom. We love Mom. I love you, Mom. Best Mom ever. I love my Mom. Best Mom ever. Mom, I love you. Right, so there's only two that say Happy Mother's Day. Three. The rest of them, you could use any time. I'm going to be sticking them to my Mom's forehead. I'm going to stick them on her back when she's not looking. I'm going to leave them all around for her house for her to find. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I'm so sorry if it's been a long video, but I can't help it. There's that much stuff, and I feel like I flew through it. But um, I'll leave a link below to this. I've got a discount code. It'll all be in my description box. Brilliant, brilliant little boxes to treat yourself once a month, aren't they? Yeah, all details will be in my description box. Please remember to give the video a quick thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Hopefully, I'll see you in my next one. Take care. Bye.